Hi everyone, it's me again. I'm sorry again. I didn't do a video last week mainly because um I've not been well and uh, I think I'm now starting to catch a cold. So happy days. Um. So today, again, as as you've read the video, I'm gonna be sh showing you my all of my Disney DVDs. We're not doing touched on. Just Disney films, whether it's Disney, Pixar, live action, um, they're all in order of release as well, so yeah. Um if anyone's wondering about um my Disney reviews, they are currently in the process of being written at the moment that the Black Cauldron reviews couldn't be the one that really changes things. Um, but we'll, we'll get to that when we get to that. I don't know when that's going to be up or anything. But anyway, um, so as you can see, the shelves are a bit empty. It's because I'm constantly moving. Uh, I've had to move this lot to here. Just so it'll be easier to pick up because, as you can see, well, I don't know if you notice, but I'm having to use a laptop because it, it just captures better so i'll have to pull each one out and show you and so forth um so yeah let's have a look okay so the first one is one of the best dvds i own um and that's every goofy cartoon it was like a f it was like five quid so can't go wrong and yep yeah, two discs and it's Two hours, 40 minutes worth. It's brilliant. Absolute classic stuff. Um, yeah, so, so obviously I would have reviewed some of these um, as well. Like, like this one, my first Disney review. Um, it's not White and Seven Dwarfs, of course. Absolute classic film. If you haven't seen my review of, that, of this one, then... Uh, Check it out because it's probably the best review I've done. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, two discs. It's an excellent release. I mean, you can get it on Blu-ray and everything. So happy days. The next one, film that I think is even better. It's Pinocchio. Scared the living daylights on me when I was a kid. I love it. <laughs> Didn't love it when I was a kid. Again, two discs. Can't go wrong. Uh, Fantasia, one of the first um, Disney's to be released on DVD. I imagine these are quite rare now. So, yep, Dumba. Yeah, probably the. Saddest Disney film for me personally. I mean, no one dies, but still sad. Still really good though. Now it's not just depressing if you haven't seen it. Definitely watch it. It's got a lot of happy moments in it. Um, Bambi. Yeah, this didn't make me cry. This one that sad. <laughs> I, I, don't, I don't think it's that sad at all. Again, it's two discs, so uh, plenty of special features. Um, good film, not bad, not bad at all. Um, Saludos Amigos. Um, it's 48 minutes, and if you haven't seen it, you're not missing anything. It's Let's leave it at that. It's just not worth talking about at all. I don't even remember my review of it. I don't remember my review of this one either. Some of this was okay. It was better than the last one. But... Hooray. Disney Movie Rewards no longer exist. Although there is some special features. More fun with... Donald in the short cartoon, Don's Fountain of Youth. Okay, that could be good. 
I didn't even know these had special features. Make mine music. And no, it's not that good either. Uh, Lion King, go see that if you haven't. It's great. Seriously, it's really, really, really good. Fun and Fancy Free. No, this isn't so bad. This is actually alright. It's got Mickey and the Beanstalk, and that that's the one they end it with, and it's the best part of the it's the best part of the film. LED time. Yeah. Not seen it. Dot. Big bottom, Mr. Todd. If you're not seeing this, watch it. It's actually pretty damn good. It's not bad. It's actually got some horror in it. Sleepy Hollow. It's big. Yeah. Don't know why I'm showing you the disc, but I am. It's not even to this. Windy Cinderella. Two discs. Yeah. Um. I it when I was younger, I'll be honest. Um, not a film I go back and watch over and over again, mainly because I'm just not keen on it. It's not. It's just not a favourite. Anyway, Alice in Wonderland. Um, watched this yesterday. Love this film. Absolutely love it. One of my favourites. Yeah, I've even got the soundtrack, got the soundtrack to a lot of these films. Peter Pan, he, I don't know if this is better or not than Alice in Wonderland, but regardless, of, I love both of them. Again, two discs, come on. Ah, yeah. Lady and the Tramp, another two disc. Um, one I do enjoy more than I used to. I end up being one of my favourites. So. Plenty of special features, obviously. Sleeping Beauty. I think I said in my review, in my review that I'm really not that keen on this one, but I don't know. Maybe I need to watch it again. Do you think about it? Hundred on One Dalmatians. Classic, um, in my opinion. Technically, it's just watching Dalmatians, in it? But, I don't know. They do it pretty damn well. Mary Poppins, absolute classic. Um, I'll, yeah, I'll probably end up reviewing this one as well. As a, as a special or something, I don't know. Sod in the Stone. Another good one. Very good. Great one. Again, in my opinion. Jungle Book. Classic. Absolutely brilliant. If you've not seen this one, where have you been? <laughs> nah, I'll give it a watch. It's really good. Aristocats. If you've not seen this one, you're not missing out. It's really... Yeah. Bedknobs, this is definitely worth talking about, so I'm going to have to review this one too. Watched it sometime late last year. I mean, yeah. Robin Hood, classic. I'm saying that about a lot of these. Yeah, these really are good. This is a really good one. And we got Pooh. Rogue. Really cool, really, really, really good film. And there's, there's lots of them in there now. It's lots of different reincarnations of the show. And who knows what else? Rescuers watched this recently. I didn't really enjoy it, to be honest. I thought it was boring. I used to love this. Beach Dragon, haven't seen the new one yet. I don't know why. Oh yeah, because I haven't got it. But I'll be reviewing Peach Dragon as well. And Who Framed Much Rabbit. 
uh, Fox and the Hound. Well, uh, that's going to be the next review. So I'm going to try not to talk about these too much. Um, Black Cauldron, I'm saying nothing about that until we get to it. Uh, Return to Was now. This is an interesting one. If you like The Wizard of Oz, you may not like this because it's quite different. It's brilliant. It's so dark. Um, Great Mouse Detective. Again, we'll talk about it. We'll get there. Oliver and Company. Yeah, again. Little Mermaid. Wow. You know, the songs. Yeah, Little Mermaid. Hun Honey, I Shrunk the Kids films. Oh, I reviewed the second one last year. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't review the other two, but still, uh, Chippendales seasons one and two, and uh, that's it for that section. Give me a second, okay. And the next one, Ducktales. I certainly have a few things to say about this. They, I love this growing up. Same as Chippendale, but I don't know. I, I seem to prefer this more, more than more than Chippendale. Um, I know we're getting a new one. Um, I'll watch it. I mean, I don't have Disney Channel, but you know, I need to get the other seasons of that. Uh, Ducktales movie. Um, I'll be. I'll have to review this, yeah. I'll have to. Uh, question. Disney. Could you possibly put this on Blu-ray, please? If I put every episode of DuckTales on Blu-ray, that would be cool. And, uh, if possible, could you put more special features on your Blu-rays and make them a bit nicer? Because I don't know. In the UK, we seem to be getting ripped off. But anyway, next one, Rescuers Down Under. I haven't seen this in years. I can't really talk about it. I don't know. I remember the first one being good, and then, yeah. Tailspin? It's okay. Um, I think I watched it. I'm not entirely sure. I certainly saw a few episodes. I wasn't really on much in the UK. At least not, not when I was younger. But anyway, Beauty and the Beast, I should know, I saw the new one. I uh, really enjoyed it. If you haven't seen it, uh, go see it. So yeah, um, yeah, watch that. If, if you haven't, come on, you, you've seen it. If you're watching this video, you, you've probably seen all of these films. Um, the Aladdin Trilogy, this is really cool. It's a bit tatty. So yeah, opens up like that. Open them up. <coughs> so you get all three films plus special features. And uh, like that. I now cannot see how well this is picking up. Okay. Uh, great set, um, great movies, we'll see. The Mighty Ducks, I don't know about reviewing this, if you want to see a review, um, comment below and um, I'll review it. Just like with any film, if you want to see a review of anything, or if you think there should be a film that I need to see, and, and then review it, yeah. Uh, Comment, put, put it in the comment below. The Muppet Christmas Carol, I've probably reviewed this, I think I have. Regardless, I really enjoy this one. It's a great one. First Muppet film I actually watched. Uh, Hocus Pocus. Did I review this? I don't think I did. 
If I didn't, then that's that's gotta be done. I am, I do. I need to rewatch that film. I haven't seen it in at least seven years. Homeward Bound. Yeah, it's alright. Is this this one too bad? From what I remember, got the original. I ain't seen it yet though. Uh, Bully Man doesn't get much. Uh, not not many people talk about it. I don't know if it did well or not. But still, I liked it. I thought it was okay. Ah, the Jungle Book. Yeah. Who remembers this? No. There's a reason for that. Lion King. Well. There you go. What more needs to be said? I don't even think I need to review this, but I will. Goofy movie. Yeah, I'm going to review this. Don't worry. I might review the second one, but I don't own it. But we'll see. Heavyweights. This is actually a pretty decent comedy. This was funny. Homeward Bound 2. These films are on Blu-ray. Could at least put the first one on Blu-ray. That would be cool. Pocahontas 2 disc set. We'll get we'll get to it when we get to it. Let's just say I'm not in any rush. Hundred and one Dalmatians and the uh, hundred and two Dalmatians. Uh don't remember the second one. I know I've seen it, but I don't remember it. Hunchback, again we'll get to it when we get to it. Um yeah. Happy days. Jungle Cubs used to watch this on video when I was a kid. And then I found it on DVD. I thought, that's three quid. I used to love that. That's a bargain. Muppet Treasure Island. Again, used to watch this a lot when I was younger. Aye. I haven't seen it since though. Who's most grand adventure? Again, used to watch this a lot when I was a kid. Shall I review this? I don't know. I don't know. Now, you might be wondering where Hercules is. Um, I've got it. I just lent it to someone. Um, but I'll review it. I mean, I've got it on Blu-ray, so it doesn't really matter. How long they keep it for? Just a... Yeah. I'll get it back. Uh, Mulan. Two discs. Quite looking forward to reviewing that. Because, well, it's supposed to be another one coming out in 2018. Live action one. The poster looks cool. I just hope it's... I just hope it is good. Pocahontas 2. Uh, yeah. Uh, Disney sequel, uh, it's a Disney sequel, I don't need to review that. Lion King 2, it's a Disney sequel, I don't think I need to review it, but you know, I don't mind this one, to be honest. Tarzan, two discs, yeah, I tried to get all the two disc editions. Fantasia 2000, again, uh, another... Early DVD, Disney DVD release. Dinosaur. I know this technically isn't a classic, but I'll review it. Since I'll be reviewing um, DuckTales the movie and Goofy movie, I'll review that. Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas. Emperor's New Groove. I am really looking forward to reviewing that. That's going to be brilliant. Yeah. Atlantis. That's going to be an interesting review. To be fair. 
because a lot of people want to see a live action version of this and you know that that could work that could actually work recess um there was also a film that i don't have on dvd got it on vhs so buzz lightyear of star command and yeah so uh, basically the pilot episode of the show wasn't bad uh we got another what well, one more lot to go hi there uh sorry i, I thought i actually stopped it i, I was hoping i paused it <laughs> anyway that doesn't matter Let's continue with the video. Yeah. So, we got the Pooh Collection. <laughs> yeah, I'm mature. I'm 20 years old. You can tell. Okay, so this comes with the Tigger movie. Pooh's Avalon movie. And Winnie the Pooh. Uh, the 2011 film, and... Uh, I might give these a review because it's only two of them are worth talking about. Uh, Once Upon a Halloween. Now, this was about £1.50, if that. Now, only buy it if you're really interested. It's the cover that caught my eye, it just looked awesome. Now. I mean, you know, if I bought this and they just sent me a poster, I'd have been happy to be honest. I would have been like, oh, okay. I thought it was a movie. Oh well. But, but no. Um, so, all it is is just um, clips from from Disney films, like like the villains' clips, all put together. And it's about an hour long, and, and that that's it, really. I mean, I mean, it's not really worth picking up unless you really, really love the villains. And, um, I mean, I was... I was kind of suckered into it because I didn't really know what, what I was buying. So, I thought, hey, it looks cool and it's cheap. But... It's okay, if you want to see it, then uh, yeah, definitely pick it up, it, it, it's cheap. Uh, Lady and the Tramp 2. Uh-huh. Yeah, uh... Yeah. Get in. Tazan and Jane. Literally just a few episodes from the show. I like it. <laughs> Oh, that show. Return to Neverland. Um, this actually did come to cinemas, so I probably will review this one actually because that uh, it's worth talking about. Since that was the first Disney sequel to come to cinemas. Uh, Lilo and Stitch. Um. First DVD I ever got. So, yeah, first DVD I ever bought. Pretty cool. Let's back a note down too. Yep. Mickey's Laugh Factory. Got it on movie rewards. I think, I hope. Snowed in at the House of Mouse. It's actually alright, it's got Mickey's Christmas Carol on here, so it's worth picking up just for that, really. A very merry poo year. I've got a lot of poo in my collection, huh? Country Bears. Yeah, I got this for £1.50, as it says there. <laughs> um, if you've not seen it, though, I used to love it as a kid. So, I don't know, if you've got kids, they might really enjoy it. To be fair, the soundtrack's alright. Piglet's Big Movie. One of the first films I saw in the cinema. Yeah. Blimey, this is more bloody poo, innit? Yeah. Uh, 
Brother Bear. Now we're getting to a lot to the Disney point where people were sort of going. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Do you remember that point of Disney? I remember that this. I know that this didn't do very well. I remember that because I saw it with my family, and we were the only people in that screen, and it was it was Christmas. It came out on Christmas Day, and we actually saw it a few days after it came out, and we were the only people in there. It was like, I mean, at the time, I didn't think anything of it, but now I'm looking back, it's like, didn't anyone want to go see this? Um, Freaky Friday. Um, I haven't seen this in years. I've seen the original, I'm off. I'm sure I've seen this more times, but... I think I like the, the original more, I remember it a lot better than the other one. George of the Jungle 2, I only own the first one on video. I'm waiting for it to come out on Blu-ray, just like this one. Holes, get this on Blu-ray, this is actually a really good movie. The soundtrack's really good, I even have it on CD. Yeah, I've even read the book. And I don't really read, I can barely read. That's why I watch movies. Lion King 3. Or oh, one and a half. It's one and a half somewhere in the world. Oh, basically the Timon and Pumba movie. They did have a show. They... Yeah. Home on the range, who remembers this? Yeah. Don't. Uh, there's a reason for that. I haven't seen it in years. Even then, I thought it was stupid. It is twice upon a Christmas. I ain't seen this in years. So I don't know if it's any bloody good or not. Mulan 2, same story. Crunch new roof. This gets panned, and you know what? I watched it. I thought it was funny. I mean, it wasn't laugh out loud for that, but some of it was actually genuinely funny. Lilo and Stitch 2. Mm, it's alright. Tarzan 2. Um, I don't really remember it. Fox and the Hound 2. The less said, the better. It's crap. Now we're getting on to live action stuff. So we've got Dead Man's Chester or Pirates of the Caribbean 2. I don't own the first one on DVD. But this was the first one I saw in the cinema. That is what got me into it. Yeah, I didn't really care for the first one. But I'm quite looking forward to the fifth. But it's like two and a half hours. <sighs> You're getting your money's worth. I up. Shaggy Dog. Yeah. You ever see the film Nine Lives? It's basically that. Leroy and Stitch. Now this wasn't actually that bad. This was pretty good. Meet the Robinsons. Uh, yeah, we'll get to this when we get to this. Um... Is it good? Is it bad? Wait for the review. Pass the Caribbean 3 at World's End. It was 2 hours and 40 minutes. It is way too long. It's way too complicated. Well, I still like it. It's pretty, it's pretty cool, isn't it? Oh. Uh, sword fighting and all that. It's mint. <laughs> Ratatouille. Took me a while to get into this one. Took me a few years. Oh, yeah. I was watching the special features, wasn't I? Prince Caspian. Uh. Yeah, I own them all on Blu-ray, so 
It's all right. I don't really remember it. Uh, underdog. Yeah, don't watch it. Old dogs. Uh, I've seen it once, but I don't really remember it, so I bought it. Prince of Persia. It could have. It, it had potential. It could have been a lot better. Race to which mine. Same story, but this was a lot more boring. And finally, Toy Story of Terror, really good. And Toy Story That Time Forgot, really, really good. Okay, so... I hope you enjoyed this video. It's it, it, it's all I can give to you at the moment because I've just got things going on and... I can't really give you a review because the last review I did wasn't planned. It was just straight up and it was crap. It was all over the place. I was just like, uh, go all the time. I just didn't like the way it turned out. So from now on, I'm going to be planning them and uh, writing scripts for them. I'm making them a lot more entertaining because... You deserve it. So yeah. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you stayed that long. I'd be surprised if you have. But yes. Thank you very much. And I shall see you next time. Take care.